In this video, we are covering airway management. When managing a patient with a compromised airway, it is important to ensure senior help is present or at least on the way. Consider fast bleeding anaesthetics or putting out a crash call. Moving on to discuss simple airway management. As shown here, the patient should be laid flat and you should position yourself at the head end. Airway management occurs in a graded manner, starting with simple maneuvers through to simple adjuncts and finally definitive airways. Suctioning may be required to remove vomit, blood or secretions. Make sure to turn the suction on at the wall or the portable device. Ensure to open the mouth and only suction what you can see. Do not blindly suction lower down the airway. The head tilt chin lift involves placing one hand on the patient's forehead and the other under the chin. Tilt the forehead backwards whilst lifting the chin to achieve the sniffing the morning air position where the neck is extended. To complete a jaw thrust, place several fingers on the posterior aspect of the angle of the mandible. Apply pressure lifting the jaw towards the ceiling, creating an overbite. The manoeuvre avoids extending the neck and is commonly used in trauma settings where a C-spine injury has not been excluded. A nasopharyngeal airway, or MPA, is inserted into a nostril and rests at the base of the tongue, maintaining airway patency. Common sizes are 6, 7 and 8. Size the MPA from the nostril to the tragus of the ear. As we can see, the red or size 8 is too large. Equally, the orange or size 7 is too large, but the green or size 6 fits this mannequin adequately. MPA should be avoided if there are concerns about a potential base of skull fracture. Place a small amount of lubricant around the tip of the nostril and slash or NPA before inserting. The device should be inserted at a 90 degree angle. Once inserted, apply high flow oxygen. Make sure to occlude over the valve to inflate the reservoir bag. Moving on to oral pharyngeal airways, the common sizes for adults are 3 which is a green, 4 which is orange and 5 which is red. Size the OPA by lining up the tip of the device with the incisors and the base at the angle of the jaw. It is best practice to lower yourself and look across the level of the incisors to ensure the device fits adequately. The device is inserted upside down and run along the hard pallet. Once around halfway in, rotate the device and finish insertion. Again, once secure, apply high flow oxygen. The techniques we've covered help maintain airway patency but do not ventilate the patient. We'll go on to discuss these now. Firstly, we'll discuss bag valve mask or BVM ventilation. The BVM consists of a face mask, a self-inflating bag, which is blue in this example, an expiratory valve between the face mask and the self-inflating bag, which allows CO2 to be released, and a reservoir bag that will fill with oxygen. Ideally, a BVM should be used with two people, as you achieve a much better seal. If there is only one airway practitioner, then a C and E grip with one hand is used, while the other hand compresses the bag. Make sure to pull the patient's face up into the mask. Do not force the mask down onto the patient's face. Just to highlight the C there, created by the thumb and the index finger holding on to the mask, and the remaining three fingers form an E shape to complete the chin lift. You do not need to fully compress the self-inflating bag. 
Over compression will cause high intrathoracic pressure and can cause a pneumothorax. Now just to demonstrate the grips used in the two person technique, the first is the C and the E grip with both hands. The second person would then compress the self inflating bag. The other option is a jaw thrust where the base of the thumbs are placed on the mask and the remaining fingers grip the jaw. A jaw thrust can then be performed to pull the mouth up into the mask. Moving on to discuss eye gels. An eye gel is a type of supraglottic airway commonly used in the UK. There are several sizes with each having its own recommended weight category by the manufacturer. The size 4, which is green, is for patients 50 to 90 kilos. Firstly, remove the device from the packaging. Next, lubricate the underside and the tip of the device. Tilt the patient's head back if able to do so and open the mouth. Insert the device as it sits in the airway by running the underside of the device along the hard pallet. No rotation is required. There is a black line which should line up with the teeth when the recommended insertion depth has been achieved. Once inserted, attach the device to a BVM by removing the face mask on the BVM first or to a ventilator. Finally, secure the device with tape or ties.